Hey you, hey you, welcome to the Free Your Voice podcast. I'm your host, Amber Andrews, and today we are back with another episode. You guys, we are continuing on um, our series of emotional intelligence, the importance of emotional intelligence. Today I'm coming to you with part four, which is all about motivation, um, self-motivation. Before we get into that, I do want to start with a quote. You know, we always start with a quote just to get our minds in the right place and get ourselves thinking. Um, so today's quote says, the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. I'm going to read it one more time. The pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. This quote is by Winston Churchill. Um, yeah, so let's talk about it. Self-motivation. What is it? Why do we need it? How do we use it? What does it even mean? Um, so... There's a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons why we all need self-motivation. We all need that key tool of motivation. You know, without it, let's think about it. Without motivation, um, we wouldn't have the need or even the ability to keep pushing forward in life. Um, life is so challenging. We all know that. Life gets us down sometimes. We face hardships. We trip face trials. We face tribulation. Um, every day is something different, you know, and you need that motivation to kind of help you keep pushing, regardless of what the circumstance may be, regardless of what battle you may be up against, regardless of what could be challenging you in that day, in that moment, in that week. Motivation is what we use to keep going. We look at motivation and we're like, okay, I can do this. You know, I've been here before. I've done this before. I faced tougher situations than this. I can get through this just like I've gotten through everything else, you know, and this goes for a lot of things. Um, I know for me personally, I seek and I need motivation when it comes to like my career, my work life, my everyday work life, my nine to five job, um, even my schooling, my education. You know, a lot of you guys know I'm in college. I'm trying to further my education, my career, trying to take the right steps. Um, it's not always easy working full time, taking classes online for college. And then I still have my family and my friends and I have my fitness journey. And then I have my personal stuff like my YouTube and my podcast it is a lot of things um, going on in my life that I need motivation to just keep putting one foot in front of the other and, you know, keep going and keep taking the steps I need to do to stay on track. Um, and then there's just so many, with it being so many different parts, sometimes it's like I'm more motivated in some areas and I'm less motivated in others. You know, it's, it's a constant uphill battle, you know, so then you it makes you think, how do we stay motivated? You know, like, how do we get ourselves back on track of being motivated when all motivation is lost? You know, that's the hard part. It makes you think. Um, I know for a lot of us, in order, or even for me specifically, in order to stay motivated, I have to see some sort of progression. You know, whatever it is that I'm working on, if I don't see progression or I don't see a confirmation that shows me hey, Amber, you're going in the right direction. You're doing this right. Um, you know, this is working out, that type of thing. If I don't see any of those signs, I'm I'm not motivated. You know, I'm not motivated because I'm kind of stuck with this question. Well, what's the point anyway? You know, why am I doing this? What is the reason behind it? Who am I helping? What is it doing for me? Those type of questions, you know, these are, these are questions we're posed with when we're asking ourselves, what is it that's keeping me motivated? Um, Sorry, guys. I'm looking at my phone because I, <laughs> I took notes. You guys know that. But anyways, um, so yeah, those confirmations, all those things that point us into the right direction, those are the things um, that keep us motivated because we can see that we are moving in the way that we want to move. You know, we're moving forward towards our goals and accomplishing what it is we put our minds to. Um, you know, it makes you really think when you are lost, think about it, when you are lost and you're unmotivated. I know for me, I've been there so many times. I've been lost and down and out and just unmotivated more times than not. You know, like I mentioned, I'm working towards several goals in my life. Several goals. Some are personal. Some are school-based. Some are career-based. Some are just health-based, family-based. So many different goals. Um, and I did mention it a little bit that it can be overwhelming. You know, you want to be good at everything that you do in life. You want to, 
you know, give off your best effort in everything that you do. But how do you when the motivation just isn't there? How do you when you're just so exhausted and so tired and so burnt out that you don't have it in you to even seek the motivation or find the motivation or look for the opportunity and the good in every situation that you come to, you know? And I I really, I really resonate with this topic this week of motivation because like I said, I can't always find it. I can't always find it. And that's when I have to look to God. That's when I have to look to God first and foremost, like, God, what are we doing here? You know, what is it that you have me doing and why? I have to really seek him. I have to really block off all the noise, close out everything just so that I can hear him clearly and make sure I'm doing what it is he has asked me to do. Um, and then within that, God will give me that motivation, excuse me, through prayer, through me being obedient, um, through other resources in life. And then in addition to that, God placed people in my life who also motivate me. You know, I have family, I have friends, I have people in my circle that motivate me to be the best version of myself. They motivate me to keep going. They tell me, Amber, look at all you've overcome. You know, I'm only 27. I have my whole life ahead of me, but there's so much that I've overcome in life because I was continuously being motivated even when I couldn't motivate my own self. Um, and like I said, it can be anything it doesn't have to be work it doesn't have to be school whatever it is you're facing motivation is that key foundation that keeps you going you know um like i said it's not always easy but my most important thing that i want you guys to take from this is when you have a lack of motivation not only are you limiting your own self and your own ability and what it is god has given you purpose to do in life but also, it's hard for you to even be in tune or open to um, being there for someone else in their their struggles, their hardships, what they're going through, their emotions. You know, there's so many different perspectives and different things that tie into why someone is feeling the way they do. But if you can't be in tune with your own self and you can't motivate your own self to keep going, you can't there's no way you're going to be able to give back or give to someone else who could also be struggling just as well as you you know emotional intelligence is so many pieces that go into it but it's not always just about your own emotions or your own ability to feel it's also considering those around you your family your friends what they're going through what they may need help with excuse me <clears throat> Do they need help with motivation? Do they need you to motivate them instead of them motivating you? There's so many different parts to it. Um, but I wanted you guys just to mainly pick up on the fact that motivation comes from all different sorts of resources. You know, it's just up to you as a person and it's up to you as the situation that you are going through in life to seek that motivation in the best way you see fit. Whether it's from... A religion standpoint you know i'm christian this podcast is christian based so my re my religion plays heavily <clears throat> in everything that i do in life you know the small things and the big things so like like i said when i'm lacking something whether it be motivation whether it be drive whether it be energy whether it be endurance whatever it is i get that from my ultimate source which is my holy father my heavenly father god um but for others it may not be that it could be you get it from God or whoever it is that you worship, or you may get it from other sorts, something else that inspires you, something else that sets your heart on fire, something else that brings back that passion and that drive. You just really have to dig and, and do some self-assessment and do some t time just sitting with yourself and figuring out what it is that keeps you going. You know, what is it that keeps you going? And once you find out that thing, Go get it. <laughs> Run after it. Go get it. Whatever it is that it takes to get you back into that motivated mindset, that's what you need to do. I also have to continuously remind myself that God isn't going to put me in a situation that I can't handle. You know, he's not going to put me somewhere that he knows I'm not going to succeed or I'm not going to propel forward or I'm not going to be able to finish it out and do what it is he had purpose for me to do you know everything that we go through in life every every season has a purpose every situation has a purpose we not, we may not be able to see it right away but please believe me there's always a reason for what is going on in your life um and so that's something i always remind myself as like that's my motivation it's like okay this may be hard right now 
but I'm going to keep going because I know that God put me here for a reason or God allowed this to happen for a reason. Um, he would not put me somewhere to lead or to work or to follow or to learn if that was not a part of his plan for my life. So that's how I kind of remind myself, okay, Amber, we have to keep going. We have to stay motivated. We have to pick up where we left off and just keep putting one foot in front of the other and doing the best that we can. Um, and that's just one example. <laughs> There's so many others out there, but I just want you guys to keep this in mind. When we talk about when we talk about emotional intelligence, there's five pieces to it. Yes, each piece ties into another, even if you don't think it does. Um, motivation ties into self. I'm sorry. Motivation ties into emotional intelligence because, like I said, you cannot be motivated just on your own as one individual person. You know, you have to be motivated, but you also need to be a motivation to other people. Um, that's just how we thrive. We're humans. We thrive off of one another. We thrive off of support and love and kindness and all those things. So make sure you are not just filling your own cup with motivation and fill somebody else's too. You know, be that motivation for someone else, whether it's a friend, family, loved one, co-worker or whatever it may have you that is it for today's episode y'all that was real short i hope y'all got something out of them 11 minutes 12 minutes that i was talking next week i think we're going to be talking about self-regulation i'm pretty sure we only have two more parts to this series you guys it has gone by so fast <laughs> so fast but i've been having a really good time yes next week we're talking about self uh self-regulation and then after that, we're talking about social skills. So those are the last two parts. Um, I hope you guys are keeping up. I hope you are revisiting other episodes so that you can see parts one through three, which was self-awareness, empathy, and motivation. And then today we talked about, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Today we talked about motivation. So two more parts <laughs> in the series will be an end. But yeah, I hope you guys check out some more episodes. Always feel free to leave me comments, feedback, whatever it is you like. Share with a friend if you feel led to do so. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.